Greetings, you two. We're not putting on the excess lighting today. I just don't feel like having excess bright lights in my eyes. Um, I have a bit of a headache. Um, I was looking at some gaming blogs uh, today, and one of the blogs was discussing the nature of hirelings, and it was discussing in particular the old school versions of D&D, you know, the original D&D games, um, as well as Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And it occurred to me that hirelings, and that particular term in, 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 in specificity, as well as the idea of hired NPCs being part of the party entourage, for me, has a very much old-school feel to it. It isn't something that I saw happen readily after the advent of 3rd edition. I think part of that is that versatility and got broader. People had more abilities and they could do different things. Um, but also because it became more action oriented, there was, there was more action film style and a little less 1960s documentary of exploring darkest Africa kind of vibe, which is with some of the older school things had that kind of feel uh, for good and ill. And in that time, it was very common for player characters to hire on people as assistants. They could just be squires. They could be just, you know, general spearmen. They could just be people to, you know, watch after the camp and, or the, and the horses when the party was off doing something. Because, you know, it didn't take a great deal to, like, guard the, the camp itself from, from predation because, you know, player characters do have that leveling armor, which everybody seems to enjoy, where really powerful monsters don't and, and enemies don't seem to target low-level player characters. Funny how that works. Um, and we just got used to it. In fact, it was very common for a person to be playing their character, as well as one to two additional characters along with them. Now, again, it was quite often when they would be non-combatants. And if they were combatants, they would be very much supplemental combatants. They would not be doing frontline work. Um, the player characters were not, were not playing evil folks. They were not shoving their hirelings into the front um, with you know, spears in their hands and a helmet and nothing else and telling them to, you know, go have at, you know, to go take on that orc. No, it was, it was backups that was reloading crossbows. It was having access to potions. It was having extra ammo. You know, it was the supplemental things that the party needed done during those kind of situations. Um, even though... We think back about it, was it that was in the days of one minute rounds. Yeah, it was that was bizarre. <laughs> one minute rounds. Now it's it it just seems so incredibly archaic now. I mean six second rounds are in realistically six seconds is a long time when it comes to combat. You can go look at the combat combats of martial arts films or action film, but you can actually look at sparring and real life sparring or even FCA style combat. You click a stopwatch at the beginning of a fight, at the end of a fight, and see how long that takes. The whole fight. The whole darn thing is going to take less than six seconds. So a six second round is very short, which I, which I believe was a GURPS that did two seconds. I know there was one game out there that does, that did one second, and I think there was one out there that had two-tenths of a second rounds. I, I, I'm vaguely remembering that. So each each action was two-tenths of a second. And so five rounds would equal one section of second of action. I'm, that's tickling my memory. If anybody out there can uh, tell me if that's correct, I would love to know. Um, but back in those days, it makes even less sense to have hirelings than you do in a six-second round, because six-second round, you really don't have as much time to do things as you do in a one-minute round. 
Think about it. One minute round, you've got enough time to like scramble eggs before it's your next turn. Um, so why we felt the compulsion and why they be seen, it seemed to be so darn handy is beyond me. But almost everybody had them. And it was very common. It was almost a sign of you've become a certain level of skill, a certain level of gravitas, of, of financial security. You know, it's the kind of thing you be, you be, you wouldn't really be looking at that until you get to like the third or fifth level, and then it was that was completely appropriate now, okay? And a group that didn't have hirelings at that level is going to be probably be looked upon like, well, why don't they have hirelings? Can they, do they not, uh, can they not bring anyone on? You know, otherwise, did they all choose charisma as their dump stack? Um, so I want to know what are other people's memories and experiences with hirelings? Do you find them to be as common in third edition and fourth and fifth? Uh, do you find them to be as common in among Pathfinder in either of the two editions? Um, do you find them to be more or less common in other old school style games like Tunnels and Trolls or even the early iterations of, you know, uh, GURPS or, or, or HARP or things like that, which have been around, you know, um, Rollmaster have been around for you know, almost as long as D&D itself. So, you know, those games did go through an early, that early old school phase. So did you think that they were, did you feel that they were more common back then than they are now in those games, you know, modern iterations? So let's talk about hirelings. I find this idea fascinating. I think that they were very useful at the time. They added a nice little flavor. I tried to give the, I tried to give the NPCs a, a bit of depth so they would have a name and a bit of a history so they would be people. You know, they wouldn't just be, you know, you know, grunt number one. And then, no, they would have a name and they would be a bit, a bit of a history behind them. So they, it, when they got injured or if they got themselves killed, there would be some kind of emotional connection and emotional event tied to that. So let's talk about hirelings.